Boko, the diesel engine, was enjoying his new job on the island of Sodor. He'd become firm friends with Edward, and had even won Gordon's respect. But Donald and Douglas still didn't trust him. They weren't too fond of diesels after what had happened on their old railway, and had yet to come around. Don't worry, Boko. All it takes is one good turn to win them over. Boko hoped it would. A few days later, his hopes paid off. While Boko was resting on a siding, Donald crawled in, pushing some coaches. He looked exhausted. Hello, Donald. Oh my, you look tired. Do you need some help? Do I need some help? Do I look like I need help moving some wee coaches away? Of course I do not. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. I can just tell that you've worked hard all day, and I'd be happy to take a little weight off your buffers. Donald didn't like being told what to do by a diesel, but he could tell that Boko wanted to help. Hmm. Well, all the more reason to have a drink. Ah, thanks, lad. That's the spirit. And with that, he buffered up to the coaches and pushed them towards the yard. But things were about to take a turn for the worse. A careless repair crew had left some steel poles on the track. Stop, Boko, stop! Boko stopped, but it was too late. The derailed coach had wedged itself firmly under the coal hopper. When Sir Topham Hat came to survey the damage, he was very annoyed. You've made quite a mess, Boko. Now that this hopper is occupied, Gordon won't have enough coal for his next journey. I'll need you to take the express while we sort this out. Boko felt ashamed, but he did as he was told. He knew the other engines would be cross with him. And he was right to think so. It's shameful, really that he'd block off the coal hopper just so he could pull my express, and to think I thought so highly of him. Can't say I'm surprised. Your diesels will not stop, will they? All oh, right, today it's the coal hopper, tomorrow it's the water tires he'll be after. All just to keep us steam engines in line. This was too much for Boko. Oh, come off it. Derailing the coach and blocking the coal hopper was an accident. You all must know I'd never do anything like that on purpose. There was no reply, so Boko went crossly to sleep. Next day, he told Edward about the whole ordeal. Hmm, that's not good. You think? I was only trying to get Donald and Douglas to trust me a little more. Maybe doing them another good turn will help. Doing them a good turn is what got me into this mess. Well, in that case, your next good turn will have to be twice as good as the first. But don't worry. I'm sure everything will work itself out. But now, Boko wasn't so sure. Later that day, after Boko delivered some trucks to the station, he saw the station master run across the platform to speak to Sir Topham Hatt. Bad news, sir. The turntable is jammed, and Donald and Douglas are trapped in the sheds. I'm afraid the coal shipment will be delayed if they can't go out to collect it. Bother. As if there haven't been enough delays. We'll need another engine to fill in right away. Boko knew his chance had come. If you'll allow it, sir, I'd like to make up for what happened yesterday. Could I take the train? Very well, Boko. By collecting the coal, you'll be doing a good turn for the whole railway. I certainly hope so. To Boko's delight, everything went without a hitch. He collected the coal from the other railway and delivered it to the yards just in time. Word of Boko's good turn got around quickly. The engines, especially Gordon, were very grateful. Well done, Boko. <laughs> You've certainly made the best of a bad situation. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. 
Thank you, Gordon. But do you think Donald and Douglas are still cross with me? I hope they don't think I jammed the turntable just so I could snatch their job. Ah, don't worry. I'd say they've come around. That evening, when Boko returned to the sheds, he heard Donald and Douglas recounting the day's events. You know, for a diesel, Boko's not such a bad sort of engine. That, from the Caledonian twins, was high praise indeed. <laughs>